Hello, my Capricorns, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. And of course, I am Debbie. I am um, reading for May 26th through June 1st. I've done my overview. What did I say? Just pray, something like that. And it'll explain why I may not be doing next week's videos. Also, too, these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm getting a celebratory vibe for you. I don't know. Are you graduating? Are you getting married? Is something releasing you? I, did you get your promotion? I'm, but I'm hearing, and again, um, I always listen when I hear the songs, but the song Celebration, the Three of Raphael, the Three of Cups. I'm getting a very strong, this is a wonderful energy for my Capricorn. So I don't know, what is it? I, like I said, celebrate, 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 and enjoy, enjoy my Capricorns. It's a really good vibe. I like having that for you. Anyway, let's see what we have. Higher power, Holy Spirit, what else do you want to say to your Capricorns? Capricorns, Capricorns getting dressed, kind of getting dressed up a little bit, you know, getting yourself ready. It's time to, you know, time to celebrate. Anyway, first card, the star. Well, that's a beautiful card. Archangel Jophiel. Jophiel has a lot of creativity. 17, one, new beginning, seven, divine umbrella, one plus seven, eight, uh, new opportunities, possibilities, 10, transitioning into a protective area, protected time. So it's a really positive card for you. The star is you wish upon a star. Dreams come true. Well, it says a dream comes true. B believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. Breaking bonds. Release. Being released. N you know, starting, starting something wonderful happening to you. Like I said, I keep getting this celebration for you. Make a wish. You know, it's after a hard period. You know, after a tough period, the stars are there for you. Anyway, a dream come true. Believe in yourself. Again, the end of a difficult situation. Three of Gabriel. Your ship comes in. Three is celebration, creation, power of three. Gabriel is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, full moon. Release, relinquish, request. Put it out there. Re what is it you want? What request? It is okay to request. Um, you know, uh, passionate, burning, very determined. It is also um, very, um, very charismatic at the same time. I get a lot of, you know, when I see this, it's about, again, your ship, your ship comes in, your ship, come, you know, brings, brings beautiful, beautiful um, provisions for you too. Prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step optimistic plans that turn out as expected. I feel like you've put a lot of energy to get here. And now it's like, you know, your just reward. Your just reward is here. Next card, seven of Ariel. You are ready. And all you have to do is wait for the, um, wait for the harvest. So we have seven. Again, divine umbrella, divine protection. Ariel is your energy, money, job, career. It's also Taurus and Virgo energy. And, you know, on the 25th, Jupiter goes from Taurus into Gemini. So we, there's a lot of provision still coming around this. Uh, this is basically says you have invested wisely, have patience and wait for the harvest. Wait for it. It's coming. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Things are shifting. It is shifting for you. I know you're, I know this Pluto thing is going to go back into Capricorn, but you'll be more than ready. You will be more prepared and you will be in a stronger position, Capricorn, when that happens. And this is part of that. Again, celebrate. Celebrate and just enjoy the release, uh, you know, of the bonds, the release of the release of the money, release of release of whatever it is, the prosperity. Your ship coming in. You're ready for it. You are in a better place than you've ever been. Anyway, let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else for your Capricorns? Ace of emotion. One new beginning, new start. Emotion is your water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional, very spiritual energy. This cherub is announcing that a wonderful new emotional experience is coming into your life. 
You may meet someone new who makes your heart flutter or your current relationship will experience a reawakening. It's also po possible that your intuitive abilities will be greatly increased by your open heart. I love, I mean, I'm, I'm really loving your, your reading here. I'm feeling very, like I said, the, the music celebration was going celebrate, celebrate three of three of cups, you know, the ladies that have their hands up in the rain cups and, you know, celebrate. It is time. It's time. This is a good, a lot of things that you have prepared for a lot of things, you know, that you have done. It's, you know, it's coming to fruition. Anyway, let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What else for my lovely Capricorns? I love my Capricorns so much. So this could be promotion. This could be money coming in. This could be like graduation, promotion, whatever. Here we go. Okay, Fairy Rebels. Your life can be joyful if you make your faith to open the doors that will make this happen. Oh, I'm sorry. Your life can be joyful if you allow your faith to open the doors that will make this happen. Remove the barrier and everything will be clear. Wow. Remove the barrier. You know, it's it's easy to be kind when you keep your, you know, I, I read this one of them. Oh, it was a meme. I wish I kept it, but it's easy to be kind when you keep the mean things to yourself. <laughs> so have faith, have your faith. Let, you know, let, keep the barriers. I mean, break down the barriers, remove the barrier. Okay, couple of cards just plopped. Labradorite, do I have, yep. This is my Labradorite bracelet right there. Helps with shamanic journeying, brave, magical power, higher awareness. Your next card, Amazonite. I do not have that with me. Solace, healthy lifestyle, clear communication, balance. Your next card, Rose Quartz. I don't have that either here. Unconditional love, romance, nourishing, and soothing. So stones that you, or crystals you may want to keep with you. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to use the angel answer, so get your question, but remember, this one's just for fun, okay? Don't make life decisions on this unless it's something that you're going to do anyway. <laughs> no, just teasing. Don't make life decisions. Anyway, higher power, what answer for your Capricorns? What answer for your Capricorns? What answer is there for your Capricorns? Look for a sign. That's interesting. Look for a sign. Wow. Numbers. Something that uh, I've talked, I've said, and then all of a sudden somebody says the same thing. Signs can be everywhere. Anyway, my Capricorns, do me the favor, please. This helps me, please. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications, whether you're watching me on Rumble or YouTube. It keeps me coming back. As always, though, my Capricorns, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.